Hey, what's up anglers? This is Pat Ogletree, one of the fishing coaches here at Salt Strong. And in this video, what I wanted to do was I want to address a situation that I've been seeing a lot coming up in our community. And that is this time of year during that winter to spring transition period, I'm seeing a lot of people that are having difficulty catching fish. Now, one thing that you have to remember this time of year that these fish are always on the move. And what happens is in the wintertime, a lot of these fish are gonna move back into the back country, into the back creeks, into these back lakes. And then as the fronts start to get weaker and those days start to get longer, these fish are gonna start moving out into the open water, but there's gonna be some transition periods that they're gonna stay at in between because as you see in the springtime, nothing is the same. One time we'll get a long stretch of a warming trend and another time we'll get these fronts back to back, it confuses the fish. So they're kind of on the move all the time. So when you're fishing for these fish, the most important thing that you need to remember is to be versatile. In the springtime from day to day, these fish are always going to be moving around. Where you're catching them one day might not be where you're catching them the next day. So make sure you're always on the move too until you find out where they are that day. One of my favorite ways of searching for these fish is using a paddle tail lure. And that's something like this in case you're not familiar. This just happens to be our four inch mulligan lure that we have. Uh, we came out with this a couple of months ago and it is great. Now we also have a 2.0 series, which is a three and a half inch. And we also have a larger one, but this four inch is one of those lures that just kind of hits that middle ground and it does a great job. Now, typically in the winter time, your bait fish is going to be a little bit smaller. So you like to downsize, but truth be told I've been using this four inch mulligan throughout the winter time and having really good success and it weeds out a lot of the smaller fish and I'm catching a lot more bigger fish with it. So what's going to happen in the springtime is you're going to get different lengths of either back to back cold fronts or you're going to get these long warming trends and that's going to cause the fish to be in different places so you need a lure that's versatile and the great thing about a paddle tail is the versatility comes in the way that it's rigged. Say for instance you have a long warming trend. These fish are going to get happy, they're going to move up shallow and they're going to start feeding and that's when you'll take this paddle tail and you'll rig it on something like this this is a rigging hook this is what we call our hoss helix hook uh, this is an eighth ounce weight and it's belly weighted and this is really good for fishing around structure and weeds that's less than three foot deep but let's say you have a little bit of a front that comes through and it pushes those fish a little bit deeper and you need to go deeper that's when you'll take that same lure and you'll rig it up on an open jig head like this one right here this one is called the trout eye jig head and it's made by z-man we've been using this here at Salt Strong for many years and it does a really good job. Now the cool thing about a jig head is you can rig these up in different weights. This one just happens to be a quarter of an ounce but they also make it an eighth ounce and they make it in three sixteenths ounce. And pro tip if you can see that large eye that's right there this one happens to be a glow color. When you order these what you can do is you can order the eyes in different colors for quick identity when you're in the tackle box. Your eighth ounce could be a red eye your three sixteenths ounce could be a gold eye and your quarter ounce could be like this glow color so that way when you're looking at your tackle box you can just look at the color and figure out what the weight is so a little pro tip there but these are really good in those intermittent areas the times that you know like I said you might have a weak cold front that pushes those fish a little bit deeper and you need to fish the middle of the water column that's when you can use something like this now when it comes to those late season cold fronts that can be really strong sometimes that's going to push those fish down deep and that's when you want to go with something a little bit larger like this this happens to be the Haas weedless football jig head as you can tell that's got a really large wide jig head on it. Uh, this one happens to be a half an ounce. We also have it in quarter of an ounce and some larger ones, depending on the current and the depth that you're fishing. But anytime that you're fishing on the bottom, this is something that you'd want to use. You can either bounce this along the bottom or you can just slow reel it to where you're just making that contact. So this fish that gets pushed down deep, they still need to eat, but you need to get that lure in front of their face. So definitely go with something a little bit bigger like this. Another reason why I like paddle tails so much, not just because of their versatility, but because in the springtime what's going to happen is you'll get a flush of fry bait that comes out from the backwater and these fish know that so what's going to happen is they're going to change their diet from a crustacean to a fin fish diet so they're going to be keying in on these fin fish and these paddle tails work great at imitating that and pretty much all of your predatory fish are going to eat these paddle tails so what i recommend you doing when it comes to rigging these lures now i fish out of a kayak and i'll bring three rods with me and what i'll do is i'll rig each rod to fish
fish a different part of the water column. So one of my rods I'll have rigged up with the Haas Helix for less than three foot of water. Then I'm going to have another rod rigged up with this intermittent type jig head right here, which will probably be either three sixteenths or a quarter ounce, depending on how deep the water is and how strong the current is. And then I'll have another rod rigged up with something like this that's got a heavy jig head. That way, if you run into a situation where one is going to work better than the other, you're already rigged up. You don't have to cut the line and retie. Now, if you only have one rod and reel, or maybe even two, what I would do is just follow the trend. So if you're on a warming trend, I would go lighter. If you're on a cooling trend, meaning you just had a front come through, I would rig it up heavy and start out that way. But don't be afraid to change if what you're doing isn't working. Now, if you notice, these are actually all the same exact lure. That's that four inch slam shady mulligan. They're just all rigged differently so they can cover different parts of the water column. That is the great thing about paddle tails. Now, if you've never tried a paddle tail, I strongly recommend go to fishstrong.com. This one happens to be our four inch mulligan. This is right now is one of my favorite ones. It's just that intermittent size. Now, this one is our slam shady color. This is a white with a gold and silver flake. It's a great starting point when it comes to a universal color. We also have them in a gold digger color, which is a black with a gold flake. We have them in an Alabama leprechaun, which is a, which is a green base with red and gold flake. And then we also have them in a Fred color, which is the pink that's got a little silver flake in it. So a lot of the color spectrum is covered in that. I highly recommend going to fishstrong.com and checking them out. And remember, our insiders get 20% off a tackle at fishstrong.com. And if you are not an insider, I don't know what you're waiting for. We have tons of information inside the insider community that's going to help you become a better angler. So check that out at saltstrong.com. Now here's a video of me catching a really nice redfish on the mulligan using a light jig head so I can cover some shallow water. That is a big fish. Put my rod tip up high. Keeping it up high to get it, keep it out of those oysters. But I think we got a school of fish right there. Ah, oh, that's a big fish. That is a big fish. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. But this is the area, there's all kinds of fish around here. I don't want to blow that out, but I didn't want to, I couldn't get this fish out of those oysters. So definitely had to, uh, had to do something for them. Only got 20 pound leader on this guy, so can't put too much pressure on him. Especially, I don't know how beat up that leader got in those oysters. There we go. Whew. That is a nice redfish. If you want to purchase any of the lures or the rigging hooks mentioned in this video, just go to fishstrong.com. And if you like videos like these where we help you become a better inshore angler, I highly recommend joining us at saltstrong.com, where we have tons of videos like this and a whole library of courses that will help you catch more fish in less time than ever before. That's at saltstrong.com.